What's up, ladies, gentlemen, and every gender identity in between? Ashley is back, and this Extreme Couponer is doing another reaction to Extreme Couponing on TLC. We started this reaction kind of series off. We were trying to investigate. There's a lot of claims that Extreme Couponing committed a lot of what we would call coupon fraud in the coupon community, and honestly, what the law might call coupon fraud. Because obviously, fraudulent couponing is absolutely illegal, and there was kind of some really sketchy stuff that happened on this show. So far we've actually been watching a lot that are really nice and really touching and sweet and heartwarming. This week I thought we'd try something a little bit different. We're going to be doing Extreme Couponing All-Stars. So Extreme Couponing, they did an all-star show where some of their best couponers, some of the people that have saved the most on past episodes, all got to compete against each other in like a grocery market, crazy like haul, who can save the most. So the whole point of this competition is to see who has the best savings percentage at the end of the whole transaction. So they can buy whatever they want, they can do whatever couponing deals they want, and they can pick what store in their area that they're going to be couponing at. But whoever saves the most percentage wise is going to be the one that wins at the end of the episode. Extreme Couponing All Stars was one of the things that was kind of deemed sketchy, especially because they're competing against each other. So a lot of these uh, coupon, not a lot, but some of the couponers, um, they were accused of using fake coupons. <laughs> I thought that was kind of interesting that some of these people would go uh, s to such great lengths as to doing something illegal just to win a couponing competition on TLC. It is a full episode, so do strap in. We are going to be having fun. I will be pausing uh, the episode just during it to just, you know, have some commentary like we've been doing. If you guys are new to our reactions, it's kind of how we do things. It's the first time we're going to do a full episode with the reaction, and it's the first time we're going to be doing Extreme Couponing All Stars, and I think it's really fun for couponers to watch a competition series centered around couponing, so I thought it'd be really fun to go ahead and watch it with you guys. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and get into this reaction. I know I'm the coupon master. I don't feel I am. I know I am. <laughs> I am the heavyweight coupon champion of the world. I remember her. In a world of extreme coupon, one question She's really, she was great. She had a great personality. Who reigns supreme? Let's go. So they don't win the trophy at the end of the episode. What happens is during the whole season, they were supposed to compete like compete one on one. So it's going to be two couponers per episode competing against each other. And then at the end of the season, um, every like everybody would compete against each other that had the highest scores. I think it's like the top four um, that had like the uh, most saving. So if you saved like 100%, you had a pretty good chance that you were going to be in the finale. Um, so that's kind of everyone's goal is to get like as much savings as close to free as possible really um you know 97 percent would probably be a good um you know way to solidify your place in the finale but um that's actually really challenging there's some rules and they'll get into it i'm sure but uh they won't get the trophy in this episode is my point let's see what you got she's just screaming at her husband like that i love her Yes. It's Extreme Couponing All-Stars. Carla versus Fatima. Carla versus Fatima. I was right. Yay! So fun. What, I would love to do this. The saving showdown is about... One thing, though, I thought about, like, I would be so nervous that the week that they would come to, to film um, my preferred store to coupon at or something like that, they, they wouldn't have good store sales that week. Like, wouldn't that suck if, like, this week is the week that there aren't any good deals, really, that are going to, like, be free or almost free that you guys could do, like, in the, like, I would be so annoyed at my store if that was the case. I wonder how they, like, go about that. To begin, but first, here's how the competition will work. Each couponer has 30 minutes to buy at least $500 worth of retail items. Okay, so so think about that. You only have 30 minutes and you have to find 
$500 worth of retail, like retail, do like dollars worth of items. So you have to have $500 worth of like coupons, essentially. Everything donated. Isn't that great? Immediate disqualification. Any violation, you get disqualified, of course. When I go shopping, this time it's for real. This is a hard competition. Fatima, we got a lot of people watching, so definitely gloves are off. I want to be the mask because you know you've got to bow to the mask. Again, with all the labels that are turned away from the camera because they can't do free advertisement. <laughs> and Carla, Look. you will be bowing to me yes i am before the shopping begins a lot of time let's size up i don't think i'm, I'm not gonna run it Last time i don't know company, carla from wapaton north dakota she has a lot of confidence i'll say that much worth of groceries for less than fifty dollars so on the last episode seven hundred dollars seven hundred dollars worth of groceries for less than fifty dollars she had a 95 percent savings which is why she's on the all-star show 95 percent savings that helped bulk up her thirty thousand dollar stockpile Imagine spending $35 on over a grand's worth of like groceries. That's amazing. Seven percent savings. Wow. This I wonder what she got. Is revved up to win, but Carla is no small town pushover. Oh, man. As Wapakin's biggest newspaper distributor, Carla's the Don of a North Dakota coupon mafia. Everybody knows there's a coupon mafia happening in Wapakin. <sighs> I distribute a thousand newspapers every week. I can get any high value coupon I need. I can get as many coupons as I want. So I definitely have the advantage over here. I'm confused. How does she get all those newspapers? They said she's part of the largest like newspaper just or something. Does she just like steal all the inserts out of people's newspapers? What are you doing? How do you but no mob intimidation can shake Fatima's coupon. How do you have that many inserts? With her husband Ryan's help, Fatima spends nearly 30 hours a week organizing her coupon collection. And in less than a year, yeah. Fatima's already saved over $12,000. That's amazing, girl. Mafia. What I think about <laughs> the mafia. <laughs> I think it's a joke. If she's the mafia, then I'm Elliot Ness. <laughs> the pressure is intense. She's got so many lines. I love her. She's so fun. It's for both shoppers. The coupon title is on the line. Oh, and two right. deserving charities are awaiting their hauls. Yeah, I love that they donate all this stuff. Carla and Fatima each begin with a scout of the battle. It's just for the their competition. Like, how cool is that? Each competitor brings a teammate to help them search the aisles. Yeah, so they're scouting the store out the day before so that they can most efficiently, uh, you know, create a map maybe of the aisles. You know, what, what do we have to get in each area and how many of each and ch chuck them in and kind of like checking the stock and stuff like that that probably but um that's a really good perk that they get with the competition let the scout begin i'm gonna need you to write down everything in fatima's aisle is her supportive husband brian okay, okay i got it and lending advice to carla is her best friend amanda do you have to get to a certain retail amount or anything like that yeah yeah we have to at least get to 500 dollars. Mm -hmm. i actually have to get 15 different items and not one item can be 50 percent of my order Good rule. Yeah. Does that make sense? Even if 15 different individual items, $500 in retail, and one item cannot be 50% of your haul. So you can't have $250 worth of anything in your haul. Or um, even $350 worth. You know, whatever half of your haul ends up being. If we get something that we don't have a coupon for, as long as it's a sale item, we won't get eliminated. You have to stay up here. You can hand me cards as I need them, and I can run back and get an empty. So, keep me amped on the you have to have a coupon for everything, but if it's on sale, you can also get it. If it's just on sale, but it has to be on sale. It can't just be regular price. Uh, we don't want to put that on. While Fatima scouts all 10 aisles of her supermarket, Carla maps the quickest route through her own store. That was aisle three. But with years of couponing and hundreds of shopping trips under their belts, neither competitor has ever had to wrestle retail prices while also racing against the clock. Mm -hmm. The time limit. It's 30 minutes. It's yeah. definitely going to be a real big... Have you ever shopped at 30 minutes like, like this? No. Like, I... I... When I'm just casually couponing, um, I take like an hour probably. Like I was at Safeway just for like 
I was supposed to just pop in for like two seconds earlier and I was there for like 30 minutes just because I was trying to make sure that I was saving money on the things that I was getting. Challenge for me. The time, the freaking time. What the heck? I'm, I'm not superwoman. I, I ain't got no ass on my chest. I can't get all that stuff in 30 minutes. Now I may not be on either shopper's side. You'll be good, huh? their clip off, both couponers are preparing for battle. Okay. You're going to have to put blinders on and run them down. Ruthless, just tough and mean and great. Great. I literally stay <laughs> in my bedroom for four days, 12 hours a day getting this list together. The team has been working so hard. I'll be glad when the competition is over because I get to come back in my room. Go, team, go! Yay! The coupon took his spot in bed. Oh no, he got kicked out. The shopping list is set. The coupons are clipped. These frugal warriors are hungry for competition. He's so excited. He's so excited. <laughs> I'd be so nervous. Come on now. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> Nearly 1,000 miles away from one another, Carla and Fatima each set up behind their cards. The store managers put 30 minutes on each coupon plot. Fatima, get your coupons and grab your car. Carla, grab your coupons and get your cars. What do you think everyone in the store is thinking? Because there's other people that are shopping at the same time that this is happening. Like, the store doesn't close, but the manager's like, all right, your team, get your cart, let's go. Like, so I'd be so confused if I was just shopping. It's time to kick off the competition. Your 30 minutes of shopping starts in three, two, one, coupon. The there are other people, right? Her I swear there's other people shopping. The other did they close the store? All right, so let's pause before it gets started. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So um, I love this and I would love to be a part of it. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I, would, I wish they like, I wish they hadn't uh, committed some serious alleged fraud at the end of the second season. Um, Cause uh, this would probably still be going on if not, but um, this is so fun and I'm so excited. I, I've always, I liked this one a lot, but um, it's really great if you already watched Extreme Couponing because then you kind of know these people already. You watched them save on previous episodes and you're like, oh, I remember them. I'm so excited. Like Fatima. I remember her and I loved her personality in her episode and I'm, I'm like, I was really excited to see her in a competition setting and she's been fun. She's been sassy. She's been, you know, letting the competition know what's up and I love that. Um, I'm super excited. But so just to review, they have 30 minutes, $500 minimum retail obviously before coupons um and then they have to have a coupon for everything if they don't have a coupon for every like for the item then it has to be on sale and no one item 15 different items and no one item can be 50 percent of their haul all right let's do this in today's extreme couponing matchup carla with bargain hunting best friend Amanda by her side is looking Aww, to bargain hunting her best friend. I have a bargain hunting best friend. His name is Eric, and he's probably watching because he watches all of mine, and it's really cute. He's one of my best friends, like in real life, and um, w like he actually we started penny shopping. Like he kind of got into it when I was, uh, was doing my channel, and um, he would watch like Chris's videos. But uh, he's been he's like couponing because he likes to save money like I do. So hi, Eric. He's my bargain hunting best friend. <laughs> Her husband Brian, rooting her on. Husband Brian, who she's gonna scream and freak out on. Let's plot. go. Couponers, take your shopping positions. All right, I'm ready. Two, one, coupon. Come on. <laughs> I love that. The couponers sprint into the aisles, both rushing to the deep end of their stores to grab far off products while there is what? plenty of time on the clock. Go away from the register and go to the register. That's smart. How many? Order, so I need to find a checkout clerk. Hi, I need help. This is a roll. <laughs> I have 105 flavored waters that are back there. I wonder if you could bring them up front for me. Yes. Each coupon is allowed three pre-ordered items. They can do three pre-orders. This is one of them. I would have gotten this immediately. I would have immediately been like, I need all three of these now. Like, three different people. Go run and get them and bring them to the front now. I'm going to go get everything else. Sorry. Anyway, sorry. They were on sale for a dollar. She had a coupon for a dollar. They were all free. So 150 for free. Um, I'm sure there's a coupon limit that they're not following, but 150 for free. Bring the water on over. <laughs> Up to the register. The team of sales into the pasta aisle. The pasta? Pre items. 
process for you a lot. Normally a dollar forty a piece. Okay. It was on sale for fifty cents each, and I had a coupon for a dollar off of two, which made them zero. That was a hell of a sale price. Fifty cents each, and then yeah, you have a dollar off of two coupon, and there's no nothing left to pay. That's that's a really good one for Dima. Fatima then rushes over to the rice aisle to redeem yet another pre-order. Okay. Hurry, 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 hurry! See, she's doing her pre-orders first. She's smart. Okay, take 12, I'll get you 200. I know they get tired of me calling their names throughout the store. <laughs> I felt like an annoying wife. It's fine. Uh, I don't care. See, there's other people shopping. There's other people shopping in the back of uh, Carla, I think it is. Um, in the back of her store. There's people shopping during this. That's what would be so insane. What if you run into people with their car? Like, I was doing Instacart today and no one would get out of my way when I was trying to shop. I'm like, I clearly have my lanyard. I'm trying, like, I'm working. Can I please just get these, like, three rice aronis and get out of your way? Please. Please just let me get these rice aronis. That's all I need. But there's, like, people are casually browsing and shopping and I understand that. But, like, could you imagine shopping during a competition? No. You for an empty one, and darts over to canned beans, a staple for her food bank donation. I need 76 cans. Combining coupons with an in-store sale makes every can free and brings her retail nice. total closer to the $500 so minimum. Girl, 74. she's dropping on her foot. I don't know how I would deal with my friends doing that, though. Four different items, bringing her retail total above $350. Nice. But she still needs 11 more that? unique products to reach the 50 11 more unique products. products. She's only done four products and it's $350 worth of products, and she's only done three. Oh, they're going to mess. Or four. Oh, four. The coveted oh. spot of the aisle where still oh. showcase some know. of the greatest deals. Before, five, six, seven. And grabs jars of peanut butter by the case to boost her savings percentage. The peanut butter I will have to pay twenty five cent a piece for them. Uh -huh. But that's what my overage came in and soaked it up. Okay, she had over to something else so she could afford that. Balances on other products is a go-to strategy that Fatima relies upon. So she paid fifteen dollars for the peanut butter. She instead owns for twenty-five cents each. I need twenty-nine of the soaps. I'm getting twenty-four. No, pause. How are you getting Dawn dish soap for free? Did you notice they were the small ones that are like a dollar and we normally have coupons for like, you know, 25 cents off of Dawn dish soap because we can't get coupons for more than 25 cents off of Dawn dish soap anymore because they don't put out dollar ones because they were attaching to like trial size probably. Ugh. See, okay, here's my thing when it comes to like, here's my personal, we're just going to get into like my own personal coupon fraud opinion because I feel like um, other than what the law deems as actual coupon fraud, everybody can kind of form their own opinion as to what is okay to do morally and what's not okay because it goes down to morals after the law. So if it's not covered by the law, it's all about your personal opinion on it. Um, I personally, like some people are like, oh, do I take, is it okay to take peelies? I'm like, if you're not going to buy the product, I'm like, I take two and that's it. If there's a lot of peelies, you know what I mean? Like I'll do things like that. Or if I'm going to buy the product, I'll take the product, like the peely off of maybe a different product, but I'm going to buy the product. Anyways, um, I do glitches when they're digital. I don't know if you guys have noticed that I don't do paper coupon glitches when people are like, oh, this paper coupon is scanning for this Crest, um, toothpaste. It doesn't meet any of the qualifications on the coupon. It is not a three ounce it shouldn't attach to this at all, but it's giving you a dollar of overage, so go ahead and do it kind of thing. Um, I I don't do those. I do them when they're digital because, in my opinion, um, digital coupons are actually really easy to fix in the system if you actually wanted to. Um, sometimes the, re the retailer doesn't care because it brings you into the store and it gets you purchasing items. So sometimes they let coupons glitch on purpose when they're digital. Um, sometimes online companies will let a coupon code glitch. They'll let it glitch because you're buying the product anyway, so they're still making profit off of it. Um, so when digital coupons glitch, I'll tell you guys, this is a glitch. It's a limited time possible deal. They might fix it in the system, but as of right now, you can get this deal and this is how much it's going to cost. Um, I do those because um I I I just I feel like it's their their fault almost you know what I mean because if I were to buy that product and I had that coupon clipped it would automatically come off if I entered my number and at the register even if I wasn't trying to like use it on the wrong product so and that's an easy thing 
digitally to fix. When I'm purposely taking a paper coupon and I'm going here, here's the item, right? It's the item, but it's not. And um, I'm putting that cashier at risk of getting fired. I'm um, putting myself at risk of getting arrested for coupon fraud. Um, and the, the people that honestly get arrested for coupon fraud are like printing them at home. Um, it's very extreme, like the coupon mafia of stealing like newspaper clip like inserts and selling them online maybe like there's there's all kinds of things that are kind of like you know about uh coupons but uh things like this are kind of the reason why we only have like 25 cent off don coupons and stuff like that now because um they would glitch a lot and stuff like that so all right let's go ahead and keep going we'll stop talking about my own personal morals let's keep watching the show pizza resale value 175 dollars worth of pizza pizzas Oh, 204. To claim the rest of her pre ordered products. I need to find a clerk. Um, Girl. You, I have 40 laundry soaps back there. Would you be able to get them up front for me? I have 100 pancake mixes. We'll have them up there before you are. All right. Thank you. Okay, whoops, sorry. Did you lose your car? I lost my car. <laughs> It did, yeah. That'll keep, that'll lose the time. She also waited. She also waited until halfway through to go and find a manager and another clerk to get her stuff. I would have done that immediately, like Fatima. All right, so we're getting bag salad. salad. I need twenty six variety of different salads here. Higher end ones because I get these for free. So to bring my retail value up higher, I want the more expensive ones. With more than one hundred twenty dollars worth of salad, Carla Cruz. She gets them for free. It doesn't matter. And calls time with what kind of she more on the clock. Does she have girl Carla? <laughs> Did you have bagged like a free coupons, like free coupons for um salad? You 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 guys know what I mean. When the manufacturer will send you like maybe they'll email you a coupon or something for one free bag of salad to like try their product out. Is that what you have? Because other because it should matter how much it costs. Unless it's completely free coupon, because it should be like three dollars off or two dollars off. So it should matter how much the retail is, unless you have twenty six different free back. Okay, girl, I don't know about you. Hey! See hard part? Okay, now hard part's not done. Now you got the coupon part. Carla's ready for checkout. She's she's done so right. early. Are you sure you're done? Maybe the maybe getting all those different kinds of salads was actually really smart because maybe they counted as different items, you know. To collect the rest of her items. Uh, Watch so. Yeah. Three cards and two pre-orders are already in, but with time ticking away, husband Ryan's got Fatima frazzled. Let's go! Come on! I don't know what I'm doing. My husband yelling through the store like a maniac, so I can't think. What's wrong? I've been married for 11 years, and I've never heard him raise his voice like that. You're in a competition, gal. Let's go. Yelling through the store. Okay, I got canned goods. I got the soda. Okay. Yeah, I, got, I got the pasta. I'm done! Fatima's ready okay. to stop the clock, but her celebration is premature. I need more Forget things. something, girl. She's overlooked the most important item on her list. Oh, I forgot my cleanser. How did you forget the, the big mama of them all? Oh, no. <laughs> Will Fatima hit the five hundred dollar retail minimum, or will she be disqualified from the competition? Oh no! I'm like, like a crazy person. It was just a mess. Girl. <laughs> oh no! She probably gets. She probably gets like a ton of comment for free, but she probably has a ton of coupons. All right. Let's see. Today, two extreme couponers are going cart to cart for charity to see who can rack up the biggest savings. Carla's carts oh, look bigger. That's not fair. Her store has bigger carts. From Wapita, North Dakota, is Carla, queen of the coupon mafia. Playtime is over. Looking to take her down is Detroit super shopper Fatima. North Dakota mafia. Well, I don't even know where that's at. I mean, everybody know where Detroit at. We're yeah. North Dakota. You know where North Dakota is? Oh no, girl. You got bigger problems other than your, your cleanser that you're not you're missing from your hall. You don't know where North Dakota is. So. Stop the clock. Fatima's 
Wait, so you did all that in 19 minutes? A crucial product I don't know. To the $5 Girl. Minimum and avoid disqualification. Oh, I got all the way back to the beginning. Oh, no. I forgot my largest item, which was my cleanser. Oh. Damn it! I need 500 of these. They're originally priced at 85 cents. They were on sale for 50 cents a piece. My coupons for 35 cents, which doubled to 70 cents, which made me get an overage of 20 cents. If I would have missed a cleanser, yeah. I would have been disqualified. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have hit the minimum 500. No. After correcting what could have been a fatal error. You forgot one of your pre-orders. You had three. I had 20 of these. 100 of these. And with time still remaining, she stops the clock. That's it, baby. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Check out. Yeah. They had to split up their transactions? Oh, they did. Oh, God. Look at her friend. Her friend's like. The Crown America's ultimate extreme couponer. It's me against the computer right now. Carla's up first at the registers, so she unloads her four cards and begins the first of her multiple transactions. How many? How many? Four of these dish shots go through at a time. According to the coupons, needs to be four at a time with that coupon. Okay, and we have 28 cents tax. Carla only has to pay sales tax, but it will not factor into the totals for today's company. Limit of four like coupons. It sounds like a PNG that we're misusing. In order to keep a level playing field between stores and areas. Actually, PSG is limited to two now, anyway. So, what am I saying? Right, it is. It is small dots. I was right. I'm telling you. I'm sorry. I got really irritated. <laughs> this is why you only get 25 cent off coupons. This is why you can't save money on dish detergent, dude. Try it back. 100% savings. Seven transactions yeah, because sales tax so doesn't count. Because it's, if it, like, that would be unfair state to state if sales tax counted. So technically, she's done a free transaction. So she's at 100% savings so far. Her final purchase, one that covers everything left in the cards and quickly sets her retail total rising. I am so the only that. limits she had to follow were the dish detergent glitch, I'm assuming, that she was doing. I'm annoyed. My retail value is probably about a thousand dollars, and I'm hoping to get it down to about forty dollars. Is that a North Dakota accent, by the way, that she has? I've never been to, like, North Dakota. Is that the accent they have? It's really cute. It's, like, very northern. It sounds like a bunch of other northern states, though. So. $643.39. She's over the... What is my total? Now? Your total? Is $926.12. So she's definitely like $1,000. Nice. But it's up to her massive stack of cards to make it all worth it. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my I knew it. Look at that stack. It's something was gonna happen, girl. You, she, the only thing she split off was the Don dish, dish soaps, and then did everything else in one big transaction. Just like, ugh. okay, so what's not doubling? With her savings in jeopardy, store manager Barry rushes to the register. Store manager Barry rushes to rescue like to that. push through a coupon that shouldn't have been pushed through. Nice. Yeah, this is not good. Unable to scan the current coupon. Barry decides to manually enter similar coupons in lump sums. Does that sound good? Does that sound? <laughs> similar coupons. I'm going to scan similar coupons. So now the system is showing a bunch of like random coupons for a different product. So now like that's definitely fraud. Like what are, what are we doing? Two coupons at 50 cents a piece, 36 bucks. Combining Carla's hand tallied coupons with... Those are the salad ones. I was right. Look at all this free watch. See? I was right. The free dull salad. Yep. I was right. She had an insane amount of free coupons. Where'd you get all of those from? Numbers from her previous transactions. Barry reaches Carla's final oh. total. You just gonna manually take off all this? Was thirty-five dollars and four cents without tax. So your total savings was ninety-seven point four percent. 
I'm, a, I'm, I'm not a little annoyed, I'm very annoyed actually because none of those coupons scanned correctly so they shouldn't have really been pushed through, right? Because there was clearly a, a misuse that the system prop... We, we've been in situations where obviously we have to have managers uh, manually input coupons, but a lot of the time that's because uh, perhaps it's the Sparko doesn't can, like scan. If you guys have ever tried to use the U by Kotex coupons at like a Walmart, the paper coupons, they literally never scan. They never scan ever. They never, ever, ever scan. It doesn't matter where you take them to. Those coupons don't scan. And it's so irritating uh, for like literally everybody. But like sometimes they will manually push them through because they go, oh, you do have this product. All right. But she was having a problem with uh, coupons not doubling correctly in order to give her overage probably. Uh, so it was probably an issue in the system that it shouldn't, it shouldn't have been happening. It shouldn't have been pushed through like that. So she had $35 worth of coupons or some something like that that was pushed through uh even though it, it was beeping. That's interesting. Phenomenal. I would like to say to Fatima, bring it. Let's see what you got. 97.4%. I feel like Fatima's was actually couponing correctly ever. though. But is it enough to take down her Detroit? She doesn't life? have a stack of free salad coupons. So I feel like you're cheating if you have a bunch of free coupons like that. She's doing things that are doubling or uh, taking advantage of a store sale and a dollar off a two coupon. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like she's doing like a little bit more honest couponing. Um, and I'm, I, I'm going to be really upset now that uh, like I'm noticing this. I'm going to be upset if like if it, Fatima doesn't win. Fatima, As Fatima's pre-ordered items come up on the belt, the cashier scans them in bulk to avoid surpassing nice. the registrar's line item limit. Nice, smart, The smart. computer has a certain line limit. Anything over 300 will freeze the computer. Uh -huh. So we're going to do everything in bulk so uh -huh. we can stay under the line limit. Man, it's a lot of cleanser. I'm thinking about Carla. That's all I'm thinking about is Carla. I never thought about a woman this much in my life. <laughs> I can't say the same, Fatima. Wow. You guys both went up to a thousand. This is like, I believe, yeah, this is the very first episode of All Stars ever. So they're, they already went above and beyond the minimum that like they had to do, which I think is amazing. Like, that's really cool that they were, they, they like were like, you know what? I know my minimum, my minimum is $500, but I'm going to go to a thousand because they're donating all of this too. $18.43. Hmm. Without taxes, Fatima's total comes to nine hundred dollars and forty-three cents. It's up to the All coupons right. now to catapult her beyond Carla's ninety-seven point four percent savings and I'm into nervous. the winner's circle. This has to be done perfect. This is my money. Yeah. It does. Fatima's numbers begin to drop until an area checkout could spell defeat in no. this bargain battle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The total isn't moving. I'm nervous now because I don't know what the heck. You probably surpassed the line limit with your coupon. If the line limit, if the if the register has a line limit like that, um, a lot of the time the coupons also count as like a limit, like it with, within the limit. So if you went over three hundred dollars of items and coupons, it probably froze. <sighs> Detroit supermarket, extreme couponer Fatima has filled three cards and two dollies in a bargain battle against her opponent wow. Carla, who's already completed her own checkout. 97.4%. Woo! And now with her husband Ryan by her side and a massive stack of coupons in her hands, Fatima's watching her that. total drop. I like flip the coupon. We got a new for charity, and I got a big Carla. Charity and Carla. Charity and Carla. Charity and Carla. <laughs> Nervous. When she gets to dancing around, I'm either happy or super nervous. Fatima really. <laughs> hopes to blow past Carla with her final batch of coupons. But the uh -uh. register is in taking them. Hold on. No. Hold on, huh? The total isn't moving. It, it's, even when the coupons are scanned, can we get some assistance? The total's not moving. Can I have a manager to place in here? 
famous mass of coupons has overloaded the register's line item limit. And I just, look, that's what I said. Yeah. Sometimes they like can move it to a different computer or something and then uh, put the coupons through and then transfer the negative balance over to the transaction. It's kind of, I don't know how to do it. Managers are forced to intervene. I was happy about two minutes ago, but now my coupons is not coming off. And we're acting in some panic and now. And I don't know yeah. what to do. We can only process 290 items on these registers. We're at that 290 limit right now. Yeah. So we're stuck. But we're going to manually take off the coupons that we've already scanned, and we're going to put them back in, but while we're going to bundle them. By bundling her coupons, the manager keeps Fatima's purchase within the line item limit. Now with her final coupons on the... So they're kind of doing the same thing. Um, I don't know how well you can bundle that. Maybe you can do a quantity and then scan the coupon. Um, I don't know. That's interesting. Fatima needs to beat Carla's... This is obviously a much older system than, than like what we do now, like too, like what we deal with now. 97.4% savings. I'm like nervous. Your final total is 29 cents. Your savings total came out to be 99.96%. <laughs> Okay, look at her freaking out and then look at her husband. And he looks excited, obviously. He's probably excited, but he's probably just overwhelmed by her <laughs> response. That's so awesome. But also look at Carla's retail. Carla went up uh, $1,300 like and Fatima was only $900, but she only paid $0.29. Cents. <laughs> that's outrageous. Like that's that $900 worth of stuff for $0.29. Cents. That's amazing. You did it, girl. You did it. Six percent savings must stay ahead of the competition all season long to cement her place in the All Star finale. So yeah, she must. She has to have the highest percentage throughout the entire season. So no one else can um, not no one else, but she has to remain in the highest in order to make it into the finale. Uh, but she has a pretty good shot, honestly, unless a lot of people save a hundred percent or more. But for today, it means she's out couponed, Carla. I am the coupon master. Yes, you are, and you did it like you did it well. You did it by like combining store sales and stuff. That was that you did a really good job, honestly, for team. That was really that, I'm super proud of her. No, I'm devastated. Woohoo! You still get to give all this stuff to charity. <laughs> like you're devastated. I mean, I guess, but I don't know. I mean, I, I I might be disappointed, but as long as I saved what I what I meant to save. That's always my thing. That I only get disappointed when I'm couponing if, like, it doesn't go the way I wanted it to. Um, if I, like, end up paying, like, way more than I'm supposed to. Or one coupon doesn't come off. Sometimes I'll get, like, a little, like, sad about it. Um, about my, my transaction as a whole. Just because one thing went wrong. Um, but if everything went right, you can't help it that she just saved more. You know? Because she, she has different stores and different store sales and different coupons. I'm so happy that it still did really well, and yeah. all the food is going to a great place. Okay, now, good. I'm glad. Donate it. Just outside the supermarket, staff donating or couponing goods to a good cause. My favorite thing to do. Dakota. 76 cans of beets, 100 containers of instant pancake mix, nice. and 200 bags of rice. These are such useful things. Earnings and supplies like this are going to go a long way to making their days better. Yeah. And everybody just bought on deals where there are coupons. That would help a lot. Yeah. It would go a long way. Yeah. I won. They win. I'm yeah. the master. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, if you're an extreme couponer, go to tlc.com slash extreme couponing to find out how to be on the show. Nice. <laughs> what do you think? Should I do it? All right. So there you go. We did extreme couponing all stars and we finally kind of saw some aggressive misuse of couponing. <laughs> that was really interesting. I'm super excited that Fatima won. We weren't there. Obviously, we don't know exactly what coupons they were using. Policy at their own locations were. Fatima did a really good job. I feel like she combined a lot of really great store sales with really great coupons and um, got a really, like, huge abundance of super awesome really great things that all went to a really great charity i love uh giving back with couponing it's one of my favorite things about couponing because not only am i able to make things so affordable 
for me that I can have a surplus of items that I can give to other people in need who might need them, who might not have um, access to coupons like that. Makes it so that I'm able to give back to my community and my friends and myself, um, which is really amazing. It's one of the really great perks of saving money and couponing and using your money wisely. This was a really interesting episode. I'm really glad that we did this. I feel like this was just a little bit different uh, than the normal um, uh, reactions that we normally do to extreme couponing. And if you guys want to learn how to coupon and save money like we just watched on the show, make sure you throw my channel a little subscribe. We do so many different kinds of saving videos on um, all kinds of different retail stores. We do penny shopping videos every single Tuesday. That's right. I said penny shopping as in we buy things for only one penny, which is insane. And we also do just regular couponing deals at like CVS, Safeway, Fred Meyer, Dollar General, of course. So make sure you throw a subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss out on any of these really great deals. You can't beat buying things for a penny or as we often get items for free or we get paid to take them out of the store so we can still get some really great deals even now even with digital coupons you don't even have to sit there and clip coupons with scissors or a huge paper cut no you don't need any of that kind of stuff we do so many awesome deals we get stuff for free we get paid to take things out of the store all the time just with digital coupons we also do paper coupon deals we do all kinds of deals lots of really great stuff coming to this channel all the time penny shopping video every single tuesday so make sure you guys keep on watching and you keep on saving and i'll see you on the next one all right